Welcome back today and in this lesson we will discussing teaching grammar and vocabulary on the whiteboard. Teaching grammar and vocabulary is pretty basic. The best thing to do is to have the lesson plan on the whiteboard prior to the class arriving. One thing you want to do is to ensure a clear example and explanation is on the board. This will ensure the students understand the lesson plan. If you put only the explanation of what you are teaching them, they will probably become confused. Once they see the example, have a few sample exercises on the board. Then go through them to see if the students understand what you are teaching them. If they understand then proceed with the lesson plan using handouts and the workbook. If you speak a word to the class that the students don't understand, the best thing to do is write the word on the whiteboard with an explanation of what it means. What you are doing is teaching the class new vocabulary. You may need to do this several times per class. Sometimes you may need to draw pictures of the vocabulary in order for the class to understand what you are explaining. Take for example different types of patterns for clothing. If you were to write the following words on the board, do you think the students would understand them? Plain, lace, plaid, stripe. Polka dot, floral, design, checkered. The chances are the students may not understand what these words mean. The best thing to do is to draw a picture of the designs underneath them in order for the students to visualize what the words mean. This would be better than to write a written example of what each word means. With grammar rules you need to write the rule, examples, and sample sentences. With vocabulary, you will need to show the word with a definition and if possible a picture of it. Let's take the words either, neither, ever and never. We use the word either when we have a choice. Neither is a negative version of the word either. I would teach this on the whiteboard with an explanation of each word, then I would ask a question. Teacher, which pen do you want? The students will look at me confused so I would tell them that they have a choice they can say one of three things. Student, the one on the left or right. Either one. Neither one. Either means they don't care which one, so just give them one. Neither means they don't want either one. So then I ask again. Teacher, which shirt do you like? Student, neither. The other words I teach using the whiteboard is ever and never since this becomes a problem. The word ever means during the lifetime of a person and can be substituted for the word, have. The word never means during the lifetime of a person and can be substituted for the words have not. I don't ever want to go there. I don't want to go there for the rest of my life. It can be rewritten as such. I never want to go there. The biggest mistake students make using these two words is in the following sentence especially in Cambodia. He is the best teacher I never met. What they are trying to say is they have never met another teacher better than him. It should be written as. He is the best teacher I ever met. Up until now in my life, there is no better teacher. What they said was. He is the best teacher I haven't met him yet. By using the whiteboard you can fix little mistakes like these by giving examples, drawing pictures, and writing explanations in order for the students to understand better. That is all the time we have for today. I hope to see you next time.